Hey everyone, welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today we are whipping up some spiced apple pie moonshine. Apple pie is definitely one of those things that we all associate with the holiday seasons. And with all the holidays coming up, I like to get this done at the beginning of November because it has to sit for a few weeks. So um, the longer it sits, the smoother it is. And But I want it to sit for at least two to three weeks before I start sipping it at all. And this is one of those things that's got a pretty high amount of alcohol in it. And it, it's a sipper drink. It is not a chug drink. You start chugging this and you're going to be on the floor. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. So we're just going to use a few ingredients for this. It's really easy to do. We are not going to can this. We're going to put it in mason jars for storage, but you're going to need to keep it either in the refrigerator or if you have a root cellar or cold storage, you know, that doesn't freeze, but is 45 but under 50 degrees definitely would be perfect for this type of jar because we're going to we're going to put it all together we're not going to can it because of the alcohol we don't want to burn off any of that alcohol in it but we want to just jar it up so it makes it super simple and easy this is a pretty fast project but today we're going to use just lids and rings um, a couple different spices. I'm going to put allspice in here, whole allspice, whole cloves, whole cinnamon sticks. And I like to use brown sugar for this. I just, I like the flavor. It really adds to it. And we're going to use some vodka and Captain Morgan's. So we're going to spice this baby up. And we're going to put a shot of fireball in here as well. Some apple juice and apple cider. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to get started, we're gonna use, I'm just making a small batch today. This is gonna make about five quarts right in there. Um, so maybe a little over five quarts. You can definitely double, triple this recipe if it will last in the refrigerator or cold storage for at least a year, no problem. And, um, but we're just making a small batch because this is for gift giving and a little bit for myself. And I'm gonna start with a half gallon of apple juice today. So about eight cups. And then I'm gonna use a half gallon of apple cider. And we just have this apple cider from a local apple farm. And um, I like to get theirs, it is very delicious. And we're gonna add this right in. You wanna give it a good shake before you start pouring so you get all that goodness out. So half gallon of apple juice, half gallon of apple cider, and I'm gonna put two cups of brown sugar in. You can use any sugar you want. If you wanna use white sugar, you can. A lot of recipes I've seen call for both sugars, some just for white. I like the brown sugar flavor myself. And I'm just gonna bring this, I wanna heat this up until all that sugar is melted. I don't wanna boil this just heat it up so we're going to put this on a medium high and we're going to stick with it so it heats up fairly quickly but this is it it's really not a difficult project at all it's really simple and it is so delicious oh my god it is definitely the cocktail of the holidays mm -mm. If you give this as gifts People are going to be begging for more, I'll tell you. So we're just going to bring this up and heat it. We don't want to boil it. So I will bring you back. Okay, so once this is all heated, when you can feel that there's no more of that gritty sugar in there and the sugar is melted, that's really all we're doing is melting that sugar. Um, so this is pretty warm. Uh, it's not going to boil or anything. And I'm going to turn the heat off and cover this and let it sit. I want this to come back down to room temperature now. I just really wanted to mix this together and get all that sugar melted in there. 
So we're gonna cover it up and move it off the burner, and then we are going to just so let it cool down. we have our liquid all cooled down, then I'm going to start adding the alcohol to this. Um, we just heated it up, do not boil it, just you wanna get that sugar melted. And then I just let it sit for a couple hours until it is completely down to room temperature and I don't have to worry about it. And this is where my recipe differs from a lot of other ones. A lot of your um, apple cider moonshine recipes are gonna call for Everclear. Everclear is illegal in Maine. We can't get it. So I am using just a 80, I think it is 80 proof. Yeah, 80 proof vodka. That's basically all that's on the shelf that you can get. And I'm gonna use some spiced rum, some Captain Morgan's because gives it that little spicy flavor. And we're also gonna throw in a couple of shots. I'm gonna bump it up and put two in this time. And uh, of Fireball, and these are just the little shot bottles. You could buy big bottles, but we have a bunch of these little ones because we got them for Christmas last year. And um, so we're just gonna start adding into our pot and getting that all together. Okay, so if you wanted to do this with all one alcohol, like all spiced rum or all vodka you could just dump a fifth in here but because i like it half and half i'm gonna put about let's see about two cups a little shy of two cups because you want to do about half a bottle which is 375 milliliters and i'm going to do the same thing with the vodka We're gonna get that right in there. And this, oh my God, this is so tasty. It does taste like apple pie, I will tell you. So good and yummy. And we're just gonna add our vodka in there, just under two cups. And because I really like to spice it up, we're gonna throw in some of this fireball. Just a couple shots, not too much, because we're gonna have some cinnamon sticks in here too. Just pour that right in. You could do one or two, whatever you like. Feeling a little froggy today and thought I would put two. Make it pack a punch. We're just gonna mix this up. So while my cider and apple juice was cooling down, I just ran my jars through the dishwasher, made sure they were sanitized um, on the sanitize cycle. And I've got my lids in warm water just I want to put some nice clean lids on here I want to make sure everything is sterilized and because if it's not sterilized then you might have some problems you want to just make sure it's super duper clean and then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put one cinnamon stick in each jar and these I think these are four inch cinnamon sticks we're just going to toss one in. If you have the little short ones, you could put two in there. And that, this looks really nice when it's all put together. And it does make a wonderful gift. And then we're going to put just one whole allspice in there. We've got these. And allspice is pretty pungent, so you don't want to go too heavy on that. And so we've got one cinnamon stick one whole allspice and we're going to put one whole clove in here as well and while this is sitting in your refrigerator or cold storage or whatever you have this is this is really going to give it so much flavor because we're going to let this sit for a couple of weeks so now that's it for my jars. They are so all we're just going to go. start filling our jars. Simple and easy. We'll put the funnel on here. Try not to make too much of a mess, but you guys know how I am. And we just want to fill these right up. And you don't have to worry about headspace or anything because we're not canning these. I usually fill them halfway up the lip, pretty close to the top. And this should make about five jars, maybe a little more. I get a little heavy handed on my measuring sometimes. 
and that, that's gonna make a difference. But a quart of this makes a lovely, lovely Christmas gift. Or any kind of any kind of gift. It's super tasty. And once we have our jars filled, I'm just going to give these a little wipe just to make sure nothing's on there. I want it to seal down really good um, because we're not canning it. But it's it does get a little bit of the um, moonshine on there. And we just want that to be cleaned off. Make sure there's nothing that could stop that seal. And I did get five and about half of which is exactly what I was supposed to get. Usually if you do a double batch, you'll get 10 quarts, which gives you a lot. And it will last for up to a year in your cold storage or your refrigerator, however you're going to store it. It will last up to a year, which is great. So you can make nice big batches, so you've got it all made, or you could do smaller batches and do it that way. A couple upside down ones here. Ooh. So we got those on. And we're just gonna take our rings and we're gonna crank these down really, really tight. And because we want to make sure that there's not anything getting in there and I heated up my lids so this rubber is really squishy here and it's going to keep everything out of there. And that's it. Spiced apple pie moonshine is really a super simple and easy project. The hardest part or the longest part, there's no hard parts, I don't think. The longest part is definitely waiting for it to cool down. I just go do get my other projects done and come back once it's cool. And I'm just gonna give these a good wipe down, pop them into our cold pantry um, if you have a root cellar, refrigerator, anything under 50 degrees really is going to be a great spot for this. You want it to be nice and cool um, or in the refrigerator. And these will last up to a year, no problem, even though they're not canned. Never had an issue with them. Sometimes we do bigger batches, sometimes we do smaller. I'm not a huge drinker, but this definitely is delicious and a little bit of it is really nice around the holidays. And this makes wonderful gifts. When you pour this out when you're ready to drink it, I just use one of those little strainers on top of the glass. You can drink it warm, you can drink it cold, any way you like it. It's really a great item for the holidays. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.